Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Maha Sharazi, your computer teacher. And this is your assignment number 6 of grade 6. And right now we are learning digital literacy make a web page which is chapter number 2. So before starting the assignments, there are some guidelines which you need to follow to complete your assignment. Attempt the assignment on a separate sheet. Draw margin lines of about half inch on both sides of the sheet. Write your name, RCN, grade, section, campus, assignment number and subject and then start the written assignment. Maintain a file of assignments to be submitted when school reopens and give at least 30 minutes per day to assignments so you can easily finish it on time. Now we are going to read from page 28 to 33 from your computer book that is computing and after that we are going to solve the following question on a separate sheet. So the topic 2.4 is add images to your web page. In this lesson, you will learn how to add images to a web page. Choosing the right images. Adding an image to a web page makes the page more interesting. It can also make the web page easier to understand. Make sure you choose images that work with the text on your web page. Be safe and responsible. Be careful about the images you add to web pages. For example, do not add photos of yourself. If you feel there is a good reason to add an image of yourself, talk to an adult first. Never include images of friends or family without their permission. An example web page. In the last lesson, you have learned how to add text and headings to a web page the living with robots example showed you how to position text and headings in the body and header of web page here is what the living with robots web page look like when images are added two images have been added to the page a logo has been added to the left of the page the logo is the page header an image has been added to the right of the text in the body of the page. How to add images to a web page? Here are the steps to follow to insert an image on your own web page. Remember, the web page editor used in this book is Wix. If you are using a different web page, menus and toolbars might be slightly different. Choose the Add an image option from the toolbar on the left of the screen. Use the free Wix images option from this activity. Select an image you want to add to your page and resize the image and drag it into a position. Now there is an activity. Open the web page you have created in the last lesson. Add an image to the body of your page. Choose an image that works with text on the page. Now there is an extra challenge. In the last lesson, you added a did you know section to your website. Search the web for a suitable image for the section. Add the image to the did you know section. Now there is a think again dialog box which says, here are two paragraphs from a web page about the robots. Which image, A, B or C, would you choose to illustrate each paragraph? A robot arm has joints. The joints twist and bend like those in a human arms. A robot arm can do jobs that humans do with their arms. Robots are used to make cars. In a car factory, robots work together in teams and each robot does its own job in return. So according to these two paragraphs, we can see that the image B is basically the robot arm and that works exactly the same as the human arms as it, they are showing in the image number C. There, there are two robots, they are shaking hands and they are exactly shaking hands like human beings. Now the second paragraph, the robots are used to make cars, that is relevant to the image A. As we can see in the picture that the cars are assembling in a factory, so that is basically respective or relative to image A. Add a new web page. In this lesson, you will learn how to add a new web page to a website, how to add a menu to a web page. In this lesson, you will add another web page to your living with robots website and this web page will be called robot gallery. 
how to add a new web page here is how to add a new web page number one choose the menus and pages option from the toolbar on the left hand side of the screen click add page at the bottom of the screen and type in the name of your new page our example is robot gallery if you want to move between pages in the web page editor choose the menus and pages option click on the page name to go to that page your website your home page you should see two web pages listed on the site menu home and robot gallery a collection of web pages is called a website you have now created a website the first page you created is always called home it is the home page the home page is what people see first when they visit a website the page header when you created the home page you added the name of the page and a logo in the page header when you create a new page the information in the home page header is automatically inserted in the header of new page how to link pages when someone visit your website they arrive at the home page if you want your visitors to see robot gallery you must create a link to that page visitor click on the web link to visit your gallery there are several ways to link from one page to another in this lesson you will use a menu how to add a menu to a web page choose add from the toolbar on the left hand side of the screen select the menu option select the menu style you want to add to your page a menu will appear on your web page drag it into the page header to see how your menu works use the preview button and this button shows how your pages will look and work in a browser now again there is an activity create a new web page and give it a title add two or three images to the page and a heading to the body of the page so you need to create a page give it a title add some images and give them some headings now there is an extra challenge add a menu to your home page it should link your home page and your new web page test that the menu works using preview the thing again dialog box says create a new page called did you know research some additional facts about your chosen topic and add them to the page test the menu using preview 2.6 check your web pages in this lesson you will learn how to review your web pages how to use a review to improve your web pages review your web pages it is always important to review or check your work when you create a document it doesn't create a good impression if there are mistakes in your work checking your spellings your web page editor may have a spell checker the spell checker will help you check the spelling and punctuation on your pages check your text carefully even if your web editor has a spell checker remember the spell checker won't find a word that you have spelled correctly but is not the right word to use in that sentence for example robots never get bored by their work in this example the correct word is there t h e i r not t h e r e is your text clear does your text say what you want is to say it will help the reader if you keep your sentences short try to make sure that each sentence make a single point ask someone else to read your text they can tell you if anything you have written is confusing images here are some things you think about when you review your images are the images highly quality are the images the right size and is it at the right place on the page do the images make the text on the web page clearer do they work with the text on the page if you have used images by other people make sure that you give credit to the owners how does your page look it is important that your web site should look good a modern web page editor will help you to create a professional looking page here are some things to think about when you review your page have you used font and size constantly don't use too many different ones do the colors you have used go well together avoid using too many bright colors do the headings help you to understand what is the page is about are items on your page too squashed together are they too far apart 
ask someone else to look at your page and answer these questions and they may have ideas that will help you to improve how your pages look do the links work check the links and menus on your pages to make sure they work it should be clear where links are on your page and where they go activity use the guidelines in this lesson to create a checklist for reviewing a web page the checklist needs to list the checks you will carry out for example check spelling and punctuation write the checklist using a word processor check your list with a classmate to make sure you haven't missed anything use the checklist whenever you are reviewing the web pages now there is an extra challenge work with a partner review each other web pages write a brief review of your partner's website and tell them what changes you think they should make use your partner review to make the changes you think are needed explore more use the checklist to review the home page you have created ask someone in your family to take a look too can they suggest ways to make it better make any changes you have talked about so this was all about your today's lecture now we are going to the activities in the activity they are saying that you have to create a web page using the software wix web page editor and do the following you need to give it a title add some text and related images to the web page add a heading to the body of the page add another web page to the previous one add a menu to your web page and send the link of your web page to your teacher so this was all about your today's lecture and i hope so it will be easy for you to complete your assignment so do it on time and we are going to meet again in the next lecture through this electronic class till then take care of yourself and allah hafiz